evolutionary art, I think, largely started in the very late 1980s. And some of the first people working in that area was Carl Sims. So his basic idea was to use evolutionary processes in the computer to evolve creatures that could perform certain simple tasks like following a light source or competing for, for a block. And he basically just put this on a supercomputer and let it run for some time and came back and saw what the computer was able to evolve. And the video shows some really fascinating examples of behaviours that we really associate with physical creatures on Earth, like snakes, uh, swimming fish, um, crabs. So what is it about that? If I just show you a cube, you, you don't usually have much of an emotional response, but when I show you a set of cubes that's swimming or trying to reach a goal that's been pulled away from it, you suddenly start feeling sad for this thing. It's not about replicating biological processes Exactly. It's about interpreting those processes in, in, in a different way. And that, uh, to me, that really highlights the, the idea that you can learn something about the world through an experience of a process when it's interpreted in a different way because it, it suddenly jars with what your traditional understanding of that process was. And t to me, that's what making an artwork is, is really makes it engaging and interesting is that it basically subverts a lot of ideas that you might have had about what is it, what does it mean to be alive, what does it mean to be autonomous, what is creativity, um, you know, how, how did we come to be here, why are we here, all of those really big interesting questions, but interpreted in a, in a way through technology that, that's not what you expected. <laughs> Five, 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 six, five, 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 five